Good afternoon and welcome to the Soberholic Vlog. <sighs> The depression is well and truly real today. I've just dropped Mika off. I had her for two days over the weekend and we've just had an absolute blast. A lot of arts and crafts and creative things on Saturday. Yesterday went down to the beach with a bunch of mates that we haven't seen for years and just had an absolute ball down there. Came home late last night and had a good sleep and then this morning she's chilled out at home and we've watched some movies and cuddled a lot and now she's gone. It's still a public holiday today and I have tomorrow off as well, which sucks for the bank account, but it's kind of helpful for me and my mental health. Right now, I'm pretty keen just to chill out here with Ginger. I reckon he's got the right idea for the day. Just lay down on the bed and sleep. I don't know if you can hear that purr, but he sounds like one happy kitty. <sighs> I don't think that's going to help me and my head today though. I did build a camper van for days like this so I can just throw some clothes in it and go. So I think that's what I might do. How you going Charlie? Been on the road about an hour so far. We're still going. The temperature has not moved. The new radiator is working perfectly despite my um, redneck insult. Charlie is loving life. He just hops in between the bed and the front seat and just chills out down there. And it is so, so nice to have aircon. And we're here. Well, actually we're not. We're not even close. Needed to stop. Um, Charlie needed a wee break and a drink. And I wanted to stop and have a bit of rest and stretch my legs. I thought I'd bring it out and show you this. All around here, Charlie has terrible separation anxiety, so I can't go too far. All around here, um, where I live in New South Wales for basically about the last two months, there has just been catastrophic bushfires basically every week, and it's been hell. I've just driven through probably 20 k's where both sides of the main highway look exactly like this. It's amazing the amount of destruction that's going on, that's gone on and has happened and how much damage. But all the way driving up here, you'll see bush like this just completely burnt out. Walk back to him. And then in the middle of all that, you will see a house completely unscathed. And it is a true credit to the New South Wales Rural Fire, uh, fire Service. They're all volunteers and they've all been out there saving people's homes, saving people's properties for no pay like it's it's crazy to think when you actually get amongst it and see the damage what's really crazy is the amount of rubbish like you see there there's a pile of old tires um, whatever that once was you can see the heat that these fires bring there's like metal down there that's just melted there's glass melted all around the place it's it's hard to even take in
excellent moment when the alarm stopped beeping for the low battery warning. And your drone returns home. So I think my bro decided it was a bit too hot outside. He's been chilling in here. That was a close one. I was um I was too busy watching the footage from the drone and just like watching all the bush go past and that and all of a sudden it's like doo -doo -doo -doo, you need to come home and it got back with about a minute left to spare which is cool I didn't realize I'd had it there Get away away from me whoopsie um, as you can see though there is like as much devastation destruction that's out here you can see the bush coming back it's starting to green up again but man like koalas, snakes, lizards, even spiders and bugs and that sort of stuff, all that lived in here, um, they're gone. They're gone, a lot of them. So sad to see. I did see something cool on the way in here though. Someone's put a little plastic puddling pool in the bush so at least animals have water to drink, which is really nice. So I'll stop and check that out on my way back because I've got some water in the van so I'll make sure that's got water in it. And we'll get back on the road and go and find somewhere to keep, uh, somewhere to camp if I can wake him up again. Hey bro! You can see that tiny little blue thing out there, it's like a kid's paddling pool. Which is cool because it's, yeah, it's full of water so animals can come and eat it. There's like a log in there so they can jump out. It's got plenty of water in it because there has been a bit of rain here the last week thankfully. And that stuff's awesome, that really like restores your whole faith in humanity and just makes you think, man, that's awesome. But then there's um, also all this white stuff here, where someone obviously needed a toilet. And didn't leave the old saying, um, you know, leave only footprints, they've left a lot more than that. Which is really sad and unfortunate, like, it just ruins it for everyone, you yeah? know? We've actually made it this time. Check out that view out the front window right down to the beach there parked under this mad nice shady tree just pulled up took charlie for a walk and i'm about to get changed into my swimmers and go for a swim and we're allowed to take him on the beach which should be cool i don't have a gopro case thing so i'm able to take a camera down there because like i don't want to lose one because they're kind of expensive but i'll definitely catch up with you after that it's march I wanted to depression sleep the day away with the cat today. I'm so glad I didn't. This is this is the way to live. Me and this old hound have been chilling down the beach, most of the Arvo. This beach is really cool though. There's so it's sand. Well, you obviously see it's sand, but as you walk along it, there's a lot of like rocks. Ugh. And they're like really smooth rocks. Add a bit of quartz there. Like I'm not a rock collector or like a, I have no interest in geology but there's some really beautiful rocks along this beach and it was so nice just chilling out with this idiot and chilling down the beach. My van is parked just up there behind the trees sit here and catch the last of the light and head up in the van I reckon. It's so hard to get out and do stuff when you're feeling that depression when mental health is really taking a toll on you. But it is just so, so worth it. So worth it. I reckon if we ask Charlie, he's going to say today is done. He's, he's been out for like an hour now, I've just been mucking around editing that drone footage and stuff. And he's been laying there snoring next to me. So I reckon we can go. Cool. Oh, sorry man, just just bumped him. I reckon we can call cool today done anyway. That was such an awesome way to spend an afternoon. And a night, I feel completely recharged. And again, I'm just so thankful that I built this van. It's hard because I've been having a lot of money trouble recently and I can't help but think if I hadn't have got this, I probably wouldn't have, well, I definitely wouldn't have as much trouble as I've got now because when I got it, I was all set to get it and build it and then a bunch of unexpected stuff happened just after I started doing it. So yeah, it didn't, didn't work out how I had planned, but I'm really thankful that I've got it because I feel 
like a completely new man tonight. I feel nothing like I did this afternoon when I dropped Mika off. I'm relaxed, I'm happy. We sat down on the beach and watched the tail end of the sunset tonight. Came up here and I've just been yeah, like laying here editing, listening to the waves and it honestly doesn't get any better than this. I think the, the hardest part about all this is leaving it to go back to reality, to go back to my house and back to my job and yeah, I don't, I honestly, I think I could live like this. I, oh, man, anyone wants to sponsor a recovering alcoholic to just live in a van and make videos, I'm your guy, I'm your guy, hit me up, <laughs> oh man, wouldn't that be the dream, anyway, rambling again, so I'm going to say good night, just like Charlie has, thank you so much for watching, I love you, I'll see you on the next one, bye!